I remember when Spencer found Meredith and they first met, I feel like he was as giddy as a 10-year-old girl on the playground. And from that moment until this moment right now, life has been lived, arguments have been had. And now, these two separate lives come together to be joined as one. I feel confident that during this time, you have matured in your relationship with each other. And if you remain faithful to the vows that we're going to take here in just a few moments, your life together will be both a blessing to each other and to those around you. Be proud of one another. Celebrate the differences that you have with one another. Build each other up. Learn to praise each other's unique gifts as, the, as God has given you each other. Love doesn't insist on its own way. This whole relationship is intended to be a journey filled with compromises. If you both are willing to compromise, if you both are willing to respond to the wants and needs of each other, not just your own, then your marriage will be more peaceful and productive. Me and my need to give way to us and ours. Love never gives up. It never gives up. When you are facing a mountain in your marriage, love never gives up. When you're on an awesome day, love never gives up. When you're on the hard day, Love never gives up. I promise you that not every day will be the best day ever, but I promise you, you will have a faithful, God-fearing, gospel-centered marriage that will bring great glory to God, and it will be mutually beneficial for the both of you.